I am the Lady of the Rosary. God wishes to establish in the world the devotion to my Immaculate Heart. If people do what I tell you, many souls will be saved and there will be peace. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore thee profoundly. I offer thee the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences whereby he is offended.
came back from Fatima. Right now we're in Lisbon. There were many, many pilgrims there at Fatima. But our experience was disheartening. And we were confused. On the one hand, there was this incredible night vigil, mass outside in the great plaza. The plaza is between the old church and the new church, which they just dedicated. to go into the new church until that evening. Almost the whole thing was barren. There was no tabernacle. There was nothing. There were no kneelers. There was one statue of Mary in the church. One did not feel the presence of Jesus or Mary in the church. And I just sat there and cried, just full of sorrow for this is what we've come to with our churches, with all our technology, with all our capability of creating beautiful things. This, this was what we were giving the Holy Trinity. And we found that steps went down underneath the big plaza. And it was sort of like going down into a subway station. And when we got to the bottom, there was a long hallway. And the walls were covered with white tile like you would find in a bathroom. And on the walls, were scribbled with like a, looks like a black marker, graffiti pictures of Christ, of the apostles, of different scenes from the gospel, but scribbled on hastily. This was the art work that they were giving to God. These scribbles. I guess some people would say it's modern art, but I don't think our Lord would be pleased with that kind of effort and outcome. It was very difficult to see that this happened in Fatima, of all places on earth where the miracle of the sun occurred. Here was this church built with so little glory given to God. We don't know what to make of all this, or what to do with it. But Mary sent us here to Fatima. I have come to warn the faithful, to amend their lives, and to ask pardon for their sins. They must not offend our Lord any more, for he is already too grievously offended by the sins of men. People must say the rosary. Let them continue saying it every day.
We'll check to see if it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. In the very early days of 1937, the Archbishop of Chicago approved the Perpetual Novena in honor of our Sorrowful Mother for the Servite Church of Our Lady of Sorrows in Chicago, Illinois. Of the same year, the Cardinal Archbishop gave his imprimatur for the publication of the Novena Prayer Book. One year after His Eminence granted his imprimatur, 73,000 people we're making the novena at 38 services each Friday in Our Lady of Sorrows Church. This phenomenal weekly attendance at one church constituted a world record. Twelve years later, it had been established in more than 2,000 churches throughout the world. The attendance had mounted to over one million persons each Friday. May the day be not far distant when all the world will return to Christ through Mary. My child, behold my heart surrounded with the thorns which ungrateful men place therein at every moment by their blasphemies and ingratitude. Behind me is the most hideous sculpture and it is directly in front of the Cathedral of Notre Dame. What an act of disrespect to place an object like that of such ugliness. It's a poisonous image in front of a holy Catholic Church. It is just mind-boggling. It is just horrendous. And our Blessed Mother has asked us to come here and film it and show all of you what is happening in our world. How people are regarding the Catholic Church, our Blessed Mother. It just seems like it a satanic act of rebellion against God. And we're going to Mass right now over in the cathedral.
this is an abomination. The spider is like waiting outside the church to capture, to grab the devout. The holy ones are going in and out of the church. It's just unbelievable. country, it's legal to perform abortions at any stage of development, from conception until birth. In my country, the United States of America, we are in danger of following suit with Canada and other European countries on the abortion issue. I'm deeply saddened at the state, the moral state of our country, our society, as it continues to unravel and fall into darkness. There are so many souls whom the justice of God condemns for sins committed against me that I have come to ask reparation. To stop abortion, it would be very much as has already been stated. And we can do it with the citizens. We made it, we're here, we're at the March for Life, the 36th Annual March for Life, and we're about to go over to the crowd and listen to the speakers. Since co-founding this campaign in 2003, internationally we have held over 500 gatherings. We have thousands of women and men who stand up and say, the women say, I regret my abortion. The men say, I regret lost fatherhood. But now we need you, Pro-Life America, because we have to raise up more voices, amen? amen. We know of the 50 million children that have died. There are many, many men and women still hurting. The brave women and men that are with me here today are just a fraction of the people. And the goal of the campaign is to bring healing to this nation. Happy road here. Yeah, something. scars and physical damage and spiritual death in the midst of the deep darkness of the culture of abortion there is a light that the darkness cannot overcome and that light is a person and that light has a name and his name is Jesus Christ
Agora que é o apartamento de um. I've been waiting for this moment for so long 